Direct News TV October 5, 2023 Syria Live News, 80 Killed in Military College Drone Attack, State Media Syrian officials say a drone attack on a military college in Syria's Homs province during a graduation ceremony has killed and wounded civilians and military personnel. Syria's government health minister says the death toll has risen to 80, including six children. Activists in northwest Syria report heavy artillery and rocket attacks by Syrian government forces on villages and towns across the rebel-controlled governorate of Idlib. Two U.S. officials told Reuters that a U.S. F-16 fighter jet had shot down a Turkish drone that was operating near U.S. troops in Syria, Turkish Defense Ministry denies the drone was theirs. Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces say Turkish attacks killed six fighters, as well as two civilians, in northeast Syria. Why are U.S. forces in Syria? The U.S. has drawn down many of its military deployments in the two decades since it launched its so-called international war on terror. But the administration of U.S. President Joe Biden has maintained it must keep its about 900 troops based in Syria, citing their role in preventing a resurgence of ISIL ISIS. Some analysts have questioned how effective the U.S. strategy is. A handful of U.S. lawmakers have also questioned the legal basis for the prolonged military presence, which has never been approved by the U.S. Congress. The troops remain in the country under the 2001 Authorization of Use of Military Force AUMF, a measure that granted the U.S. military the broad authority to target al-Qaeda and its supporters across the globe in the wake of the September 11, 2001 attacks. The administration of former President Barack Obama later said that ISIL fell under the auspices of the authorization and first deployed U.S. forces to Syria in 2014. Critics have called for the AUMF to be reformed. Recap, drone strike in Homs, Idlib barrage, and Turkish drone shot down. Here's a recap of what's happened in Syria in recent hours. Syria saw one of its deadliest attacks on government-held territory in years, with 80 killed in a drone strike on a military college in Homs. No one immediately claimed responsibility for the attack, with the Syrian government only citing Syrian fighters, backed by known international forces. After the strike, activists in northwest Syria reported at least six people killed in Syrian government artillery and rocket attacks across rebel-controlled Idlib governorate. Meanwhile, the U.S. military said it shot down a Turkish drone after it came too close to its troops in northeast Syria. The incident comes as Turkey has reportedly stepped up strikes on the Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces, a U.S. ally that Ankara considers to be dominated by terrorists. Who was behind the Homs drone attack? No one has claimed responsibility for the drone attack in Homs, which the Syrian government has only blamed on fighters, backed by known international forces. There is a lot of speculation Syrian opposition forces based in Idlib are behind the attack, and government shelling on Idlib since the Homs attack has indicated that is the regime's working hypothesis. Suspicion could also fall on ISIL, ISIS, remnants based in Syria's central desert. Al Jazeera's Zaina Koder pointed out that the long distances between Homs and the locations of the opposition in ISIL mean that it would be difficult for them to have carried out such an attack, but Joshua Landis, an American academic and Quincy Institute fellow, told Al Jazeera that the use of drones may give the factions in Idlib, in particular, the capability to carry out the attack. There is also speculation that attack could be the result of internal division within the Syrian government, as dissatisfaction increases with the rule of President Bashar al-Assad and the economic situation in the country. Complete blackout over parts of Idlib follow government shelling. Residents across Idlib say many towns and villages have been left in the dark after government forces targeted electricity stations. The bombing has led to a complete blackout in the city of Idlib, resident Khaled Havoc said. People are now in a state of terror and panic, he added. UN chief concerned about Homs drone attack. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has expressed his concern about the violence in Syria on Thursday, according to his spokesperson. The Secretary General is deeply concerned about the drone attack on a military academy graduation in Homs, 
which reportedly resulted in dozens of casualties, including civilians and numerous injuries, Stefan de Jarek told reporters. The Secretary General is also deeply concerned about the retaliatory shelling by pro government forces on multiple locations in northwest Syria and emerging reports of casualties, he added. U.S. officials say Turkish drone came too close to U.S. troops in Syria. U.S. officials say that the U.S. shot down an armed Turkish drone in northeastern Syria after it had dropped bombs on targets near Hasaka and came close enough to pose a danger to U.S. forces. The officials say the shootdown was ordered after more than a dozen calls to Turkish military officials stating that U.S. forces were on the ground in the area and that the U.S. military would take action to protect them if the drone didn't leave. One official confirmed that while the drone did not target U.S. troops, however, it was flying in an unsafe and unsynchronized manner. There was no immediate comment from Turkey on the shooting of the drone. Syrian government attacks over Idlib intensify, say White Helmets. Syrian government forces have escalated their artillery and missile attacks on villages and towns across the suburbs of Idlib in northwest Syria, says Monir Mustafa, deputy director of the Syria Civil Defense, White Helmets. The terrorist attacks have continued throughout the day, targeting markets and schools in a systematic manner, he tells Al Jazeera. Among the targeted sites are three schools, two in Sarmin and one in Albara, an electricity company on the eastern outskirts of Idlib, and a Syria civil defense center in the city of Ariha, explains Mustafa. We call on the United Nations and the international community to put an end to these deadly terrorist attacks that threaten the lives of civilians. These attacks will continue unless those responsible are held accountable. Idlib death toll up to six. The number of dead from government attacks in opposition held Idlib governorate has now risen to six, according to the Syria Civil Defense. The attacks on Idlib began on Thursday afternoon and have continued intermittently through the evening and night, an apparent response to the Homs attack earlier, although no group has claimed responsibility. Tragic psychological state, Idlib residents describe horror of the attacks. Faras al karbai a resident of Ariha in the province of Idlib in northwest Syria, describes what he heard and saw when Syrian government forces attacked his neighborhood. We were at the funeral when we heard the sound of heavy artillery and shelling, one missile after another, says Karbai, the sound of the bombing was very intense, and there was only a few minutes between one shell and the other. We hid in a shelter until we were able to get out, and when we got out we saw this scene, says al Karbai describing how he found his home bombed out and everything destroyed. We are in a tragic psychological state. Only civilians live in our neighborhood, there was no justification to bomb it, he adds. Health Minister says Homs drone attack death toll up to 80. We now have numbers from an official source on the death toll from Thursday's drone attack in Homs, with Syrian state media quoting Health Minister Hassan al-Gabash as saying that 80 people have now been killed, including six children. Al-Gabash added that 240 people have also been injured. At least five killed in government attacks on Idlib. At least five people have been killed, including a woman and child, and 38 others have been wounded in government-led attacks on Idlib in northwestern Syria. The attacks targeted 20 villages and towns across Idlib Governorate. Among the wounded are at least eight children and eight women. The attacks, launched from government positions south and east of Jabal al zawiya began at 3.30 p.m. local time, 12.30 Greenwich Mean Time. Locals say the attacks targeted a power station and a popular market. U.S. says shot down Turkish drone in northeast Syria, Ankara denies. There are differing narratives over a drone that was shot down by a U.S. F-16 jet in northeast Syria on Thursday with United States officials saying that it was an armed Turkish drone that had strayed too close to U.S. troops, and a Turkish defense ministry official saying that while Ankara acknowledged a drone had been brought down, it did not belong to the Turkish armed forces. All of the officials were speaking to the Reuters news agency. If the Americans did hit a Turkish drone, it would be the first time that Washington has brought down an aircraft belonging to Turkey, which, let's not forget, is a NATO ally. The incident comes as, and is possibly related to, 
a reported Turkish attack on Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces in northeast Syria. The SDF said that eight people were killed in Turkish attacks on Thursday, including six fighters and two civilians. The SDF is a U.S. ally, but Turkey considers the main group in the SDF, the People's Protection Units, YPG, to be the Syrian branch of the Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, a designated terrorist group in Turkey, the U.S. and the European Union. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.